solve motion problems and distance problems. Now, these are the basic equations you need to know to be able to set up this type of work problems. The motion problem is one in which an object is moving at a specific rate for a specific period of the time. So this is the relationship that you need to remember. Amount is equal to rate times time. The distance problem, when the amount in the formula is distance, we refer to formula as a distance formula. So distance equals rate times time. This is what you need to remember every time you see a distance problem. D is equal to wait times time. Solve distance problems. Take a look at this example. An aircraft carrier and the nuclear power submarine leaves from a naval yard at the same time, heading for the same destination in the Indian Ocean. The aircraft carrier travels at 34 miles per hour, and the submarine travels at 20 miles per hour. The aircraft carrier and the submarine are to travel at these speeds until they are 105 miles apart. How long will it take for the aircraft carrier and submarine to be 105 miles apart? So you may want to read the question a few times to make sure they're asking. We did that part already. Now, this is, looks like a distance rate problem, so I'm going to start writing out the formula. D is equal to RT. That's the first thing you want to start writing. It's a good idea to make a little table or chart like that and record what we know here. In this case, we know the rate for the aircraft and the submarine. We're going to record it here. One is 34, the other one is 20. The time is the same for both of them. I'm going to call it T. Now, the distance would be rate times time. So the distance that traveled by the aircraft carrier would be 34T. And the distance for the submarine would be 20T in terms of time. So here we have to set up the equation. The difference between their distance is 105 miles. So therefore, the aircraft carrier's distance minus the submarine's distance would be equal to 105. So it would be 34t minus 20t must be equal to 105. So here I have my formula or equation where I can solve for t easily. Divide both sides by 14. The time would be 7.5. The aircraft carrier and submarine will be 105 miles apart in 7.5 hours. Two cars leave the same town at the same same town at the same time. One travels north at 60 miles per hour and the other south at 45 miles per hour. In how many hours will they be 420 miles apart? <coughs> so we, we have to read the question first. We did. We need to assign a variable here. We want to let x equal to the amount of time needed for the cars to be 420 miles apart. So x is the time. Now, it's a good idea to have draw something to illustrate the situation. Here, one car going south, 45 miles per hour. The other one going north, 60 miles per hour. They're 420 miles apart. You can also set up a chart like this, the rate, times, and distance. You can record the rate with the 60 and 45 for each of the cars. The time is the same x, and the distance would be rate times time. The distance going north would be 60x, south would be 45x. So this is, would be my, my equation. 60x plus 45x equals to 420. So we can solve for x, combining like terms, divide both sides by coefficient of x. So x would be equal to 420 divided by 105, which is 4. So we have the cars will be 420 miles apart in four hours. You can also check our answer by substituting four for each x. You see add up to 420. When Chris drives his car to work, the trip takes half an hour. 
then he bribes the boss to take three fourth hours. The average rate the average rate of the bus is twelve miles per hour or less than Christmas rate when driving. Find the distance Chris travels to work. So read the question. We're gonna assign a variable here. We're gonna let x equal to the average average rate of the car. Let x equal to that. So x minus twelve would be the average rate of the bus. Setting up the chart. We record the rate, time, and the distance. The car, the rate we set is x. For the bus, would be x minus 12. The time is given to us is 1 half and 3 fourth. So the distance would be rate times time. x times 1 half, or x over 2. 3 fourth times the rate, which is x minus 12. We're going to set these two equal to each other. So this is my equation. 1 half x must be equal to 3 fourth times x minus 12. To solve this equation, we need to eliminate the fraction. We can multiply both of the equation here by 4, that's LCD, to eliminate the fraction and then solve for x. So x would be 36. So the required distance is 1 half times 36, which is equal to 18 miles. I'll let you check the answer yourself. This example of solving a distance rate time application. If I could, can hike one miles per hour faster downhill to Moose Lake, then she can hike uphill back to the campsite. If it takes her three hours to hike to the lake and 4.5 hours to hike back, what is her speed hiking back to the campsite? So let's take a look at the chart again. The distance, rate, and time. In this case, we're going to let x be equal to the rate for returning rate, and x plus 1 would be the trip to the lake. And then we know the time here. The time is 3 and 4.5. So we can figure out the distance. Distance with rate times time. 3 times x plus 1 would be the distance trip to the lake. Rate times time, x times 4.5 or 4.5x, that would be the return trip. We're going to let these two be equal to each other. The distance to the lake must be equal to return distance. Here's our equation. Solve for x, we distribute the x, isolate the variable, and get x equal to 2. The hiking speed on the return trip to the campsite is 2 miles per hour.